All right, in today's video, I've mentioned that I'm going to be installing French plates on my on my walls. And this is my little test French cleat wall. As you can see, I only have one cleat and just a regular two by four. French cleat, 45 degree angle facing away from the wall, 45 degree angle on your tool holder. Basics right there. What's wrong with French cleats? Nothing. And that's something I never thought I would say. There's absolutely nothing wrong with French cleats. They do exactly what they're supposed to do. It's like saying, there's something wrong with my truck. It won't fly. Well, it's not an airplane. It's not meant to fly. This is not meant to keep things from coming up. It's meant to keep things from falling down. And it does it quite well. Like I said, cleat, cleat. Most of your breakage comes when it angles, but take a little off the top there, a little off the top here, and that'll take care of a lot of that. But my problem is with tool holders. Uh, I know some people have said, you know, having to make a tool holder for every tool you have, it, it's a pain. I view it as a plus. It means I can, I can make the tool holder that I want. And I'll apologize right now, we're in triple digits. And my AC is only cooling the other half of the shop. So if there's any company out there that wants, you know, help a woodwork shop, woodworking shop out, I'll be more than happy to review your product <coughs> live. Anyway, it does exactly what it's supposed to, but I have kids. I have a clumsiness factor and I have tools that get stuck on them. So that when you pull up, the tool holder can sometimes fall out. Kids walk along, they love to do nothing more than see which ones they can pop up. And if it actually has something light on it, it's all over your shop floor. And yes, I could address that with the kids and say, no, don't do that. But I'd rather over engineer things. So first thing, I'm not building tool holders for the light tools like this. I have a three quarter inch Baltic birch. I love Baltic birch. I love three quarter inch Baltic birch. It's overkill for this. Okay. Half inch. Perfect. It's light. It's cheaper. It also takes up less room. I don't need three quarters of an inch push, pushing me out. And then another three quarters of an inch for my tool holder. I save half an inch right there. Okay. But the other thing I want to fix this whole come off the wall business. I've got two ways to show you. Here's my first. Here's my first way. Still the same French cleat. What I do. If you've paid any attention to some of the other things I've done, cam clamp. You have a cleat lock built into the tool holder. Slide it down, push the clamp up, let the cam clamp do what cam clamps do. That's not coming off, not, not on its own. Still really easy to take off, as you can see. Easy to put back on. just like anywhere else, okay? Now this is great if you have room over to the side. You can move it down, clamp it back down. It's not gonna go anywhere. Okay. And this adjustable so that if it's a little wider, doesn't matter. You adjust it, push it up, clamp it down, you're done. It's not moving side to side. It's not moving up and down. You want to take it off, move it, loosen the clamp. There you go. Okay. Like I said, this is great 
if you have room to the side. But now let's put it over here. Get it close. Would help if I could see over there. There we go. It's locked in again, not going anywhere. But now I have one right next to it. Now I can get to this one and I can take it off, move it around, do whatever I want. But if I want to do something here, I have a different solution. You've got your cleat lock here and you've got a cleat stop here. If you've dealt with stop blocks anywhere, there you go. Built into the tool holder. Same cleat. You need no clearance. Move the stop up. Tighten it down. Now you've got two that aren't going anywhere. Okay. Now. What I don't have on this tool holder. And I do have two of two different ones available. I have side supports. These supports will actually go over the knobs. So you can reach the knobs in here. And they'll go all the way down. I've also got short ones. So I can take one. I can double them up. Put them up there for extra support if I need it. I can take one of these or both of these. Put them in here if I want. They both fit. The key to this is if these are installed on the outside, which is how I originally designed it, you have room around it to change your knobs, turn your knobs, take it off, loosen it, loosen it, move it down, tighten it back up. When you move it down, make sure you bump it back up. But again, it's not going anywhere. Okay. This even works on a two by four. You got a corner sticking out here if you want, cut it off. I don't recommend putting anything on a two by four, but it's not going anywhere. I put this on a short a while back. Like I said, this is my test, my test wall. It doesn't matter which way you go, okay? It's not going anywhere. So what I'm going to be doing, one, I'm telling you right now, this works, okay? I've seen the key business where you, you mount something on here and you put a key in. That requires all of your sprint cleat against the wall to be the same. I know for a fact mine won't. So if you have any discrepancy in there at all, yes, triple digits. Thank you. If you have any discrepancy in there and all, you're going to may have problems with keys. I did. I tried that one time. Never again. I've seen them with springs. Way too cost prohibitive for me. I've seen them where you've got to have your, your cleat spaced at a certain distance apart so you can put something here to keep it from pushing up. Again, one cleat, all you need. If you only need three, okay, you're over a, a work bench area you only need three what are you going to do for the top one make it to where it can't lock this will work on any of them if you've got a spare two by four just clamp it to it doesn't matter all that matters and this is just the best practices make sure that your cleat attaching to your tool holder has the same face okay this is actually the stop portion of this.
I just moved it all the way to the top and turned it over. Turned the whole this whole backer board over so that it would line up. But again, it attaches fine. <clears throat> what I'm off also going to be putting out, this is the standard tool holder. Okay. I've also got a deep well. Works the same way. Comes with the same supports. I'm not trying to innovate here on the tool holder side, except for my backer board. That will be the basis for all the tool holders that I build for my shop and any that I make available. I may make plans available, but as of right now, I'll be selling the tool holders. I've got the ones that are the cleat stop, which is this piece. Allows for zero clearance removal and movement. This also has the center cleat lock. So I take this off. This has a right cleat lock. The other one was centered. This one's right because when it's mounted on the wall, it will be on the right side. So these are pretty much the options I have available. I've got the right cleat lock. When you're looking at the lock itself, it'll be on the left, but you flip it over for your tool mount. It's on the right. I've got one for the left. My default is the center because I don't know where on my tool wall it'll be. The right and left are more if you have an edge case that you know is pretty much always going to be that way. Where this one has all three, this is this is pretty much the complete package. This will let you do the stop and it'll let you do the lock. I also have just the stop. So just the lock, just the stop, or both. Standard tool holder, deep well tool holder. Your long supports, and glue those on, brad nail them, screw them on, however you want to do it. And our short supports. And if you're if you're dealing with just the lock, you know, you can put these on the outside if you want. You can put them up here if you know you're not going to need the room. It really doesn't matter. All that's pretty standard stuff for a simple tool holder. But this has just changed the game for me on French cleats. It's not the cleat that's the problem, it was the tool holder. And I don't want to drill here and, and put something to hook under. One, that takes away my ability to bump up against it, like I showed here. I can put those side by side, clamp this one down. I don't need any clearance to get either one of these off. Now, if this were over here, I would, but I could also put these on every one. It's all how you want to do it. Again, doesn't matter what your cleat size. Uh, you could actually do this too, but better to have the angle cut on both sides. That's all I've got for today. I'm getting out of this heat. I hope to get this up. These are available for pre-order and that'll be going on for a few days at a little cheaper price. Uh, what I do want to make available is if any other tool makers, any other creators have tool holders that are not French plate compatible, or even if they are, if you want to use this design, 
hit me up. We'll see what we can do. Because the great thing about this, you've got your cleat lock. This will lock it on, right? Do this the easy way. This will lock it on. And then you can mount any other tool holder to that backer board. As long as you don't hit the center. And this is another case where if you've got holes to drill in the center to mount a tool holder, get the backer board with it offset. That's all I've got for you today. I hope this kind of cleared up why I decided to go for engineering the tool holder versus trying to figure out something else to do with the cleat system, the keys, the, the additions to the side. All those are, they're fine. I'm not going to say anything's wrong with them. They're not what I want for my shop. I like the clean layout you can get when stuff is bumped up against each other, especially if you're going to have, you know, numerous drill holders, you can put them right next to each other. Like I showed you before, you can have them. You, you've seen the ones with the PVC too. You can make one, but then just put them side by side for as many as you need. And I'm going to end this now, try and get in where it's a little cooler and get this posted. It'll take it easy until next time.